Hello and welcome back to the Tap Cave. Happy New Year. This will be the first video of 2020. And yeah, I thought I'd put together a video today because I'm back in the saddle, I'm sorting out stock, and I'm back on the mission to clear a lot of this old stock. And in front of me is a mountain of electronics that I am working on to clear. So let me show you what I've got. Okay, so here is the little mountain of stuff I've pulled out. Um, I've been going through it. These are a load of remotes here. So all of this stock that you can see was in here, tucked in here and various other places. So I've pulled out all of the VCRs, all of the DVD video combis, there's a couple of amps in there, um, and there's an old skybox. Um, and I've already been through everything and worked out that all of this is worth cleaning, testing and listing. A couple of bits I've decided are not worth bothering with. There's a JVC DVD there, it's just doesn't have any value. Um, so that's going. Likewise, this uh, Sanyo VHS. Now this powers on okay, but it's in what's called safe mode. And I've Googled it, and to get it out of safe mode, I would need the remote. It doesn't have a great deal of value anyway, so I think I'm just going to get rid. It's still got a VHS stuck in it, but I can't eject it until I get it out of safe mode. So the plan with that is to boot sell that as well. I mean, I could get a remote for it, but I don't think it's worth the hassle. And then this ION USB turntable just doesn't really have any value. It's quite a cheap thing. It's not in very good condition. It's really quite bashed up and scratched. And people are selling these brand new on eBay for as little as 25 pounds. So I think I'm just going to Take that to the boot cell, uh, see if I can get a 10 on it or something. So those bits I'm going to clear at the boot sale. Everything else I've been through and looked up prices. So if I can, I'll go through this in a sec with you and show you the sort of values I expect to achieve on this stuff. I've also been through and matched up all of the remotes where I can. Um, with the units because they're all muddled up completely and I've got all of these remotes left which are going to be sold off individually where they're worth it. I have started looking some of these up, these for example, I've got two of these Toshiba, uh, they are SERO339 and as you can see there I'm going to put those on at £20 each. So there should be some good value there as well. Okay, so I've laid it all out, so I'll quickly run through. Just to give you an idea, if you're thinking maybe of getting into electronics, um, a rough idea of values. Obviously, it depends on the make, it depends on the condition, it depends on whether you've got the remotes, um, but I thought it might be quite interesting. So, if we start here, uh, this is a Yamaha uh, it's like a home cinema receiver for surround sound and all of that stuff. Um, no remote with this. I'm going to shoot for £50 with shipping on top um, and should achieve that. Pretty much all of these I found completed um, and I've compared completed listing prices on items that are sold on eBay to work out what I'm going to aim for. Okay, so here we have a Hitachi DVD combi, so it's got DVD player and VHS. This has its remote, and I'm going to shoot for about 50 on that one. Uh, this one below is a, a Toshiba, and again, VHS DVD combi. Uh, has a bit more value, even without remote, so I don't have the remote for this. Um, I should be looking at about £60 on that one, so they're quite nice. Okay, next we have this cassette deck. This is a Denon, 
as you can see it's got an issue there the little cover off the front of the uh, cassette door there has come off so I need to glue that back on um, not in the best of condition but that needs sticking back on and then these have been going for really good money so about 80 pounds is what I'm going to shoot for I'll probably have offers on that because as I just said it's not in the best of condition um, so I think I'm going to go 80 with offers so we'll see but I'm hoping for good things on that this beast of a thing it weighs an absolute ton is an Onkyo TXNR609 160 watt receiver no remote again and I'm going to go 90 pounds perhaps with offers on again it's quite beat up really scratched on top the front's not too bad just needs testing Spotify inside it says on that sticker there but yeah that's a good one then we have a Toshiba VHS with remote I'm going to go 40 pounds on that this is an LG uh, DVD as you can see it plays uh, RW and the other formats there of recorded DVDs um, has its manual no remote uh, 30 pounds so much value in that Philips VR510 with remote uh, but again not much value in it 30 pounds free shipping I'm gonna go on that then we have a Philips VR840 uh, Nikam stereo VHS with remote which somebody has uh, scratched the word video into oh no it's written in pen I might be able to get that off so yeah 40 pounds I'm going to shoot for on that an LG with no remote it's another VHS and I'm going to shoot for 30 free shipping Sony What's that? RDR GX210, no remote. That is a DVD uh, recorder, as you can see there. So that, if I had the remote, they've been selling for up to 50 um, and shipping. With no remote, they've been going for £25 and shipping. So. I'll shoot around the £30 mark, free shipping I would think on that, that's not too bad. Couldn't find the remote in all of my stack of remotes so I may look into buying a, a replacement, see if it's worth doing. So that's that one. Uh, a little den on here, just a DVD, hardly worth bothering with, uh, no remote on that. I'll be lucky to get £20 out of it, so that's nothing special. Uh, this bush, uh, it's a VHS with Video Plus, no remote, uh, again not much value, should get 30. Now this is a brand I've never heard of, Funai, uh, again no remote, but they seem to have been selling for fairly good money. It's actually a VHS and DVD combi. Uh, there's the brand, Funai. But this model had been selling fairly well, so I'm going to shoot for £40 on that one. Um, Panasonic, uh, this is with remote, home theatre sound system. Um, they've been listed and selling for about £30 plus ship, so I'll either do it £30 plus ship or combine it to about 37 38 or something like that might do it 40 all in with offers that one that's got its remote and we have a sony vhs not much value in it about 30 pounds 
that has its remote. It's a bit faded and sadly it's missing its back. And finally we have a little Sky Plus box. Uh, this is the DRX 890 which surprisingly are still selling but not for much. Uh, I should get about £20 free shipping out of it. And that's all the remote. So there we go, that is what I'm going to shoot for on all of that. So it totals to approximately, well it's just under £700 gross, but obviously a lot of this I'm going to do free shipping, so there'll be a big chunk of shipping to come off, and the fees, but not bad for stuff that I've had sat in the shelves. Most of this has been sat here for the past year. Um, and I finally got round to having another purge of electronics. So there we are, that is my task now, to get all of this tested, cleaned, photographed and listed and sold is the plan. Um, hope you enjoyed that. I thought while I had all this stuff out, it would make an interesting video. Let me know your thoughts below and if you are new here, Please think about subscribing. We put out videos, usually two or three every week on this channel, all about how we earn our living selling this stuff on eBay. So thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.